Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to turn these ordinary bins into organized bins. You can see here, I did most of these already and it, they turned out amazing. Instead of pulling them out and seeing what's inside of it, I'm going to show you how to make these quick and easy little tags for them. So here's the bins that I'm going to be doing it on. I ordered these bins off of Amazon um, and my husband and I just organized everything. So okay, so I'm going to be showing you very quickly how to make labels for anything, pretty much. We redid our office and I want to put labels on the bins that we have to make it easier to, to know what's in them. So just very quick... Um, video to show you this. Okay, so I'm starting in design space and the first thing that I'm going to want to do is just go to the text box here on the left and type in each label I want to write. Oops, and I don't want it capitalized. And then I'll do them separate just to make it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to go to the text box again and write another one. And you can do this for anything. Um, I've done them in the past for like sugar and flour and all that stuff in the kitchen. I've also done it for my bathroom for like if I have a soap or if I have lotion or something. It's just kind of neat to do when you have um, the ability to do it. So it's just kind of fun. So this will just be for my office. So it'll be kind of nice because it's in a bin and you can't see what's in it to know exactly what's in it. And then I just have one more. So you just want to go to the text box each time and write it in what you want. Um, one thing that I might have done before I wrote all this out was actually find a font that I want. I don't like using just the regular Cricut font that they give you. So um, that if you want them all different, you could do it secondly. But the first thing I should have done was before I typed it all in, um, went to the font area, but since I didn't, I will show you how to do it. So you just click on the one that you want to change, click on the font, and I'm going to go to system. And the reason I go to system is because all of these are free um, from Design Space or from Cricut, or I had downloaded them from dafont.com. If I go to all over here, it will bring them up and it'll bring every single font up. But if you see here, it's going to charge me $4.99 up to like, I think I've seen them up to like $6.99 for a font and I will not pay for my fonts anymore. I just go to dafont.com and then just download them and put them into Design Space. It's really easy. Um, if you're interested in seeing a video on that, leave a comment below and I would be more than happy to show you how to um, take a font from Dafont or anywhere really and put it into Design Space. It's rather easy. So um, some of them are free. You can see here um, they are free, but most of them you will pay for individually or if you have the Design Design Space um, subscription. I think they have yearly or monthly, and I used to do it, but I won't do it anymore. So, okay, back to this. So I'm just going to go to System. So these are all the free ones that I have or that I have already downloaded, and I know I want something that's bold, not really cursive or neat looking, just something that's bold that's going to jump out. So I'm just going to pick one and see how it looks on here. You can make it large or um, thicker here. I'm going to make it bold and see what it looks like. And I think I still want it a little bit thicker, so I'm just going to go back into the fonts and just keep looking. Well, here we go. We'll see how this one turns out. Yeah, that one's much better. Just wanted it a little bit thicker that I could um, see it easier on the thing. So since I know it's impact, I'm going to grab the audio one, and I'm just going to go into font again, and I'm in system yet, and I'm just going to type in impact. And it's going to bring it up for me. So it'd be a lot easier than searching through each one. And you can either change um, the fonts to whatever you want, or you can leave it the same way it is. I'm just going to leave them all the same because they're all in the same um, area. So I'm just going to click on each one, go to font, and then there it is. Like I said, if you wanted to do this first, it might be easier that way. Um, but you can do it either way. So I'm going to actually grab all these really quick. And bring it, oops, I'm gonna grab them all and bring it down just a little bit so we can see it a little easier. 
So another thing is, is I want them all to be about the same size. I don't want these huge ones like this that says batteries and these little or tinier ones that say uh, GoPro accessories. But because some of them are longer than the other ones, you kind of got to play around with it to see. I'm going to bring back my grid, and that's just right up here, this little button here. I like to get rid of my grid all the time, so I'm just going to click on that. And there it is. And kind of like see visually how big it is. Like if you say something's five by one, it's kind of hard to visualize how big it would be. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. I'll unlock it. Then I'll just make it a little bit larger. And um, you can take like the size of your bin that you have and kind of go off of that. But I'm just going to go to whatever looks good to me. And to make it a little bit easier, I think I'm just going to change the size to an even number. So maybe I'll do, it's already unlocked, so I'm just going to go 6 by, and we'll try 3 and see what that looks like. And it's a little bit big, so I'm going to do 6 by 2. But then I'll do the same thing with this one. Since I know it's going to be the same, I'm going to have click on it. I'm going to click the little unlock box, and then just do 6 by 2. Oops. And it's going to be about the same, but I like, like I said, it looks a little bit bigger, so maybe I'll make it just a little bit smaller so it kind of looks the same. And I'll just do the same with this one. Grab it, click the unlock box, and then do six by two. And then the next. And then the last one. And again, it, they don't really look the same, although they're, sa they're the same width and height. It looks, you can tell that they're completely different. So I'm just going to mess with it a little bit, and it's whatever looks good to you. So since it's unlocked already, I'm just going to take it and bring it out a little bit so it just looks a little better, stretch it out a little bit. And this last one. Like I said, this is fun to do for anything. Anything that you might have to... Um, have like notes on or if you want to be a little bit organized on anything. I did my husband's garage and I organized it and I put labels on everything so now it's so much easier to know when I have to put something away I know exactly where it goes because it's it's um listed. So I like these. I think I'm going to make this one just a little bit bigger. It doesn't have to be exact. You know you do it the way that you want to do it. Um, so I'll make this one a little bit smaller. So I guess the size and the width don't really matter too much. It's just however you like it. So I like how these look. So for these look a little bit thicker. Yeah, I'll shrink them. There. Um, but you do it the way that you like it. So I like it the way it is. And I was I was debating on doing uh, HTV, the heat transfer vinyl, or just regular 651. And I'm gonna do the 651 because if we ever want to take these uh, labels off, if it's HTV, you iron that on and you will never be able to get it off. So I'm just going to put it on regular uh, Oracle uh, 651 vinyl. That's um, what I use for all my other projects. So I'm going to go ahead and um, cut this out. I will show you my crickets not on. I'll turn it on quick. I'm going to go to make it and it's going to bring it up and I'm going to keep them all the same color so they're all going to be on the same mat. And I think. Maybe I'll do um, white because the bins that we're using are gray. So I'm just going to space them out just a little bit so I can get my scissors in between each piece. You don't want to waste a lot of vinyl. So I'm just going to move them so I can get the scissors in between each one. And then I'm going to push continue. And then I have the Cricut Maker, so this might look different than yours. So I'm waiting for it to come up. And then it's going to say set material. And this is, um, I have these as my favorites. These I use the most often. So I mean, you can go in the popular ones and pick them out. But this is the favorite. These are the ones that I save that I use most often. So normally if I was doing the heat transfer to vinyl, I would do this one. And I use the non-Cricut one because I don't use a lot of Cricut brands. Um, so I'm just going to go to stencil vinyl. And it's just going to cut it out like the best way for me. It's the the... It tells you the thickness. I just like this one the best. So it already has a set for me to default. I can go more or less on the pressure, but I like how it does it. So I'm going to set my Cricut up, put my white vinyl on my um, 
mat. I'll cut it out, I'll weed it out, and then I will show you the next step on putting it onto the bins itself. Okay, so I have all of my vinyl cut out and weeded out already. Now I just gotta figure out which one. So here's the bins that I'm going to be doing it on. I ordered these bins off of Amazon um, and my husband and I just organized everything. So it would be so much easier if we had labels on these to see what's in it rather than pulling it out and seeing what's in it. So I'm just gonna put them on and I'll show you that really quick how to do them.